This fight is brought to you by GFastOnline.com and EC Tucker Electric Company. Serving the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and providing all your MRO and electric needs. Real quick, I want to give a, another shout out. How about you, Sam? Carlos Moreno. Oh, get in here. Don't be shy, he right? and his wife, Veronica, out in California watching. Carlos, great Muay Thai coach, great instructor, very good friend of XKO and a good friend of ours personally. Carlos, miss you, love you. See that you're doing well out there, my friend, and uh, God bless you. Thanks for watching tonight, my friend. Four wins, four losses. Zach attack all. Coming to the coming to the gate. A lot of fun to watch. I like Zach. He's fought pretty high energy fighter. Yeah, fought for us a few times. Good kid. A lot of fun to watch. Fought, you know, bat 500 in his amateur career. Gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by T-Fast Online and E.C. Tucker. It is scheduled for three rounds in the XKO featherweight division. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the next bank blue corner. He's trained in kickboxing, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in 144 pounds. Four victories, four defeats. Fighting out of Sherman, Texas, presenting Zach Ong. And now across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner. He's a freestyle fighter and stands five feet, five inches tall, with an official weight, 145 and a half pounds. One victory, zero defeats. Fighting out of Arlington, Texas, presenting Hamza Al-Sad. Referee Seth Fuller. Guys, you got my instructions in the back. Let's have a good, clean fight. Obey my instructions at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Go to the corners, come out fighting. Zach Alm's going to have the uh, reach advantage. Smart ass commentating partner here this evening, and Brandon Crick. Thank you very much. Not a problem. So, B, this is an interesting matchup, man. Stylistically, this is your typical striker grappler matchup. But Zach is so inconsistent, you never know what he's going to come out to do. Almost got Alm, almost getting a uh, kick caught. Hobson oh, catches Alm's uh, kick. And then, nice little rollout by Alm. Yeah, Zach did a really nice job of, of taking that and using it to his advantage. Wow, big pickup by Zach Alm. Body crush. I can see Alm throw towards the, the lower regions here. Again, that, that front kick that he's trying to hit. Pretty nice. Just don't want to get it, you know, maybe set that up a little better, eh, Brandon? Yeah, he's a little bit robotic right now. Well, I'm not sure about 
what the heck that was. But it wasn't, wasn't good. And Zach Holm is, is going to need to get back to his feet. I'm not sure what happened there. Pretty decent movement. I wouldn't really call it full on wrestling, but he did move well. Zach Holm being a little bit a little more of the aggressor there. Yeah, he's definitely coming out more aggressive. A little shot there. Al Saad coming up, trying to walk the cage. Oh, I'm going to look like I'm try to take it for a ride, get underneath there. Nope, good job. Good job by Al Saad to get into that underhook. That's going to try and set up a takedown. I think Alm's giving him a little more than they expected. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to turn your back on, uh, on Zach Alm. You, you can hit, you know, don't underestimate this game. Four and four, not necessarily indicative of his, his ability. He saw tough fights. Because he had. I'd like to see him use that long reach with that jab, personally. Keep it low. Yeah, well, he took a nasty one. Zach Alm working hard on the single, trying to get back up there on the outside. There he ran the fight. Yeah, ran it. Nice takedown, nice toss. Also, I break the eye a little bit. It's nice to, to yeah. hear commentating from the crowd, especially Texas commentating. Absolutely. Got a little doesn't get, going on. That's it. Doesn't get much better than that. Also, I was trying to isolate the arm. Not necessarily the best choice from this position. That was a nice elevator sweep. But boy, uh, but Zach Alm is... Right back. Yeah, Zach Alm is really looking good. Pretty intense first round between both guys. A lot of back yeah. and forth. Not bad at all. I'd have to go to Alm personally because I think yeah. he was more aggressive. More aggressive. Got a couple more takedowns. I'd say that he had the first. That's right. You can see the look on Alsad's face. This is way more a fight than he was expecting. He's breathing kind of heavy. In the yep. corner there with his ghost up fry. Zach Alm, and this is the thing. Alm's got eight fights. El Sayed has one fight. And, uh, and you're seeing a little bit of cave experience discrepancy. Yeah, and, and, and he kind of knows what to expect. Yep. Zach much more calm. In the amateur fights, you shouldn't be picking and choosing your fights anyway. You should be trying to fight the toughest person you can. Start round two. Nice Zach overhand. Alm. Yeah, nice overhand right by all. No side. He's fighting off his heels. Yeah, you, yeah, and throwing off his heels with the kick. Yeah, fighting scared like that, you're not going to land those. Oh, what a great nice. little lateral drop. My goodness, I mean, that was very quickly done by Zach. Yes. Rolling in, let's see if he's going to try for the out. He's going to try for knee bar. He's going to try for the knee bar here. He's going to eat some punches for his effort, though. He's Come with knee bars as you give up position. Absolutely. And Zach Holm would do real well to figure out a roll out of this, and there it is. Oh, wow. And El Sayed did a good job. Good gator roll to get out of that. Oh, and he, and he caught Holm. Holm with a takedown. Nice El Sayed nice with the first roll. I can tell you, these guys are really putting on a good show. Oh, nice kick by Zach. Yeah, kicks to have kicks. El Syed doing a good job working those kicks to the, his opponent. Nice little run around. Wow, is that calm? I know, he looked, is he tired? Is he hurt? I'm not sure. I don't know. Because he was very lazy in that, you know. He seemed to kind of let that happen. Yeah. Not typical of what we see out of Zach. He's, a, he's obviously a very, very good fighter. Oh, 
Also, I have likes those butterfly hooks. I'm not a huge fan of them for MMA. Just because if you miss them, man, you just gave up position. Keep smashing Alsaha back into that corner. It takes away a lot of Alsaha's ability to reverse and get away. Alsaha's corners are very quiet right now. If my fighter was losing, I would be wanting to help him out of it. Done a real good job of tying up the legs here. Very good pressure. Keep climbing the rope well. Keeping, uh, I'll say it down. Those body shots when you're on bottom really don't do a whole lot. You can't generate a lot of power. Well, we're going to go to a third round. And I'd say that's all two to one. It, it, it'd be interesting with the judges. I would have to agree with that. That the second round much closer. Yes. Both fighters should be treating this like it's a whole new fight. They need to win this round to win the fight. Great advice by Coach Brandon Crick here. I miss that. He just said both fighters need to approach this like it's a brand new fight and a one round fight at that. It's a replay from our guys in the booth. Right here, we're going to see a, a nice reversal here by El Syed coming over the top using a wizard. And Zach Alm. He actually could have, down. Yeah, he, he could have maintained top position and gone for the head, and he chose for the knee bar. Not exactly the most advisable move. But. Third and final round. Will it go to the decision, to the judges, or one of these guys going to finish it? Good sports for both of them. Zach Holm is, is, is found a home for that jab. He switches up the southpaw, each one for his proper not, not the best choice. Yeah, not at all. Those guys did a really nice job of picking up that leg. Shooting that guillotine again. Zach Holm's got that long neck, he's got to plant that head to the ground. Get an arm in there to block it, and he's done so. Yeah, also, it's going to burn himself out trying to chase this. Zach Alm's doing the right thing. He's going to need to escape his hips out to the side here. Let go of that figure four that he's got on Al Sayed's leg. If he's in a position where if Al Sayed actually postured up, he'd be able to deliver some damage. But since he's not, you know, I'd hang out and make him stand me up. Early into this third round, Zach Alm now. See, I'll say that once it's back up on the speed. I think it's the best idea. He's been eating that jab from the end. Man, nice uppercut by Zach Hall. Zach Hall immediately goes hip toss. Nice turn on. Beautiful takedown. Really well done, especially for a taller, uh, taller fighter. He set that up well with the uppercut. Well, what you, you really need to see is uh, he's just racking up points with those takedowns. And you look at Alm's left leg, he's definitely, you know, you see El Sayed's work on that left leg of Zach Alm. Back to top position, maintaining control game. And Zach Alm is looking very good this evening. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, shot a good hook. He's got to stop shooting that guy. Nice takedown. Real nice takedown by El Sayed. Zach Alm using these long limbs. Outside. He's working out from the side. He's shoot the far side. I like the clinch that he's got him in. He's tied him up really well here. There it is. There's your triangle. Man, I tell you what, that is smooth. That is smooth. That is technical submission work. And right there by Zach Alm. That's it. That's it. That's it. Zach Alm 
spins. That was impressive. That was a very impressive. The setup was beautiful. Absolutely. And you like to see a guy with long legs, long arms, that know how to do how to finish a fight and use those two as advantage. And he's just experienced. You know, they, I think this was a lot more fight than they expected for all sides. Absolutely. And right here, this is sportsmanship between both guys. Appreciate that. Man, Zach Hall just showed a real complete game in my opinion. Absolutely. Still takes some needless risks, but it seems like he's starting to put his game together a little better. Yeah, and like you said, he's, you know, this wasn't an easy fight for him. No. I'll say it is a very talented young man. Absolutely. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, and, and Zach Holm has fought some tough fights, but man, he really, his, strike, his short uppercuts were disguised really well. And he, and, he, and he was able to play some nice takedowns off of that. His footwork was a lot better this time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee set four has called the stop of the contest at two minutes and 16 seconds into your third and final round, declaring your winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. Your winner, Zach Oh Good fight. And hey, want to give a shout out real quick. All right, Zach, come on in here, man. With your winner. Zach, I have to tell you, I, I don't know if the guys in the booth can get the replays because there was so many, so many pivotal points to this fight. Uh, it hard to keep up with. Your transitions back and forth all the way to the third round. What did you see as the most difficult facing your opponent, Hamza al -Sad? His uh, his kicks for sure. He stung me with a left, I think a left or right kick right in the stomach early in the first round. I felt it. I was not to show it. So uh, yeah, and his weight. This is the heaviest I've ever fought. Moving up to 145, and he's a big, strong dude, man. So throwing that weight around, gonna gas me. You know, he was pulling you into his guard anytime you went in to shoot him. You know, he'd flip you, he put you in his guard, but this time. You pulled a trick out of your head. You're a tremendous jiu-jitsu artist. As we get a replay on the screen, let's see where we're at here. So you set some up. Walk us through this. That, I felt his weight shift heavy forward. And I knew if I just drug him across my body, I'd get him down, end up in his guard. Right here, I'm looking to pass. Looking to pass to get to a better position. I kept hearing his corner saying, he's just laying on you. I mean, I was trying, man, but dude's strong. He had good defense, so... I had to just lay there and wait for my opening, man. But when I felt that opening come in, man, that triangle was my bread and butter. I promise you, I have a world-class triangle. So anybody who gets locked in it is bound to tap. Well, I'm going to tell you, Zach, what a tremendous performance. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Hey, I want to do a shout-out to uh, my father's cousin, Diane, who is battling breast cancer right now. And my, my, my woman, my girlfriend, Lauren Allman, out here. All these guys up here, they killed me every single day in the gym. I got all my buddies from work here. This one's for all of us, y'all. Thank you for coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Ohm. Zach, Zach Ohm. Great fight. He's a pretty good personality, too. I like him. 